So in this video, what we want to do is take a look at an example use case as if we were an organization that wanted to establish an online video streaming service. And so we'll take a look at the use of object storage with streaming video. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to uh, start a new company to launch this online video streaming service. The service would need to be efficient and powerful enough to meet important computing and network bandwidth needs. The underlying architecture would require a scalable storage environment uh, that can be easily customized and extended with tier technologies. Uh, so from that environment, what did we realize we needed? We need low latency data storage that allows user video treatment on the fly. Uh, for example, such treatment might include video in, uh, encoding and decoding, perhaps applying some effects. We need a, a pluggable solution to seamlessly integrate third-party infrastructures, uh, for example, maybe Amazon CloudFront, uh, to prevent data loss and to also ensure continuity of service in line with the service level agreements, the storage infrastructure needs to offer geo-replication mechanisms. That geo-replication would be part of a disaster recovery plan. Now, Red Hat solutions are comprised of a wide variety of storage solutions. In this case, Red Hat Ceph storage uh, offers the following features to meet that company's requirements. We deploy the cluster atop high-speed drives. This will provide the company with a solution for the video treatments. The Ceph cluster is completely distributed storage cluster without a single point of failure. Its architecture, architecture is scalable to the exabyte level. Remember an exabyte is approximately a thousand petabytes and is freely available. Uh, the Ceph cluster uses an advanced algorithm to distribute and replicate that data, making it fault tolerant for us. Now the Ceph cluster also offers Amazon compatible gateways. This will allow the company to extend their architecture by seamlessly scaling out the storage infrastructure and ensure quality of service if needed. The Red Hat Enterprise Linux OpenStack platform offers geo-replication capabilities. The Swift Object Storage Service leverages that geo-replication by proposing on-site and off-site features. Swift's storage policies can be used to create geographical zones in order to have complete control on how and where data is distributed. So there we see the client nodes in our picture pointed to the object storage and the block storage that's needed, but that we can also be tied into Amazon and regular OpenStack storage. It can be tied into a public network, tied into a back-end storage network for cluster, but notice off to the right there, our focus on using solid state drives, but we can also pool those with rotating media. Use the performance when we need it, don't use it when we do not need it. And so we've looked at here being able to see how a startup company that is looking to implement a streaming video service can look to take uh, and keep costs low as they implement a fault-tolerant, geo-replicated storage solution with Red Hat Ceph Storage and Red Hat Enterprise Linux OpenStack Platform. Now that we've taken a look at this, let's get ready to move on to that next video.